Greetings tubers. So, we have our wall blocked up nicely as you've seen in the previous videos probably. Uh, and now, one of the issues I have here is this wall is very, very crumbly. This is typical of a lot of the walls in this place and uh, you can see here this is not particularly, you know, safe. It's uh, easy to take these bits out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this secure by taking out and clearing some of the rubble, moving some of the stones off uh, and then replacing them and cementing them in place just to give us a strong base, something that's not going to fall apart in the next 20 years. Um, and then after that probably cover the um, probably cover the top with a layer of sand and cement just about an inch thick just to give us a nice firm base. Um, this uh, it's going to be a bit of a shelf or a seat or something but it is the right height for someone to sit on so we're going to make it strong enough so that if someone does sit on it it won't break and crumble and um, I'm not exactly sure how this is going to go yet so it's very much a case of uh, jump in and, and see how it goes So let's dive in. Okay, that's uh, far enough, I think. We could keep going on forever because it just is crumbly all the way down. Uh, but that's as far as I need to go and uh, don't go under the wall obviously that would be a bit of a disaster uh, But what we're going to do now mix up some cement and put some of the larger stones back on the outside uh, and Whilst taking this apart you can separate the larger stones uh, and set aside some of the smaller ones and Also take the sand and lime out and the rubble now with those three separate piles it makes it easier to put back because you use the uh, rubble and the smaller stones to fill in the middle and uh, and you use the larger stones to cement on the outside um, and the reason for filling the center with the rubble is it gives um, it gives an area or it gives a base that you can lean these stones against to support them whilst the cement is drying and it saves you f mixing lots more cement just to fill the center, which would be a bit of a waste of time. Um, so it's best to take this apart in an organized way. It makes cementing up much easier. In this frame you can see the rubble behind the stones. I simply bashed it with a hammer to break it up a bit and it gives a nice flat surface on which to put a cement base. Greetings. Uh, the final time lapse was lost due to running out of uh, drive space, but we we're almost there, so here's the result. So you have a nice, uh, nice cemented surface here, and uh, that's nice and solid now. And that'll be a good base to uh, stick a seat on. Or a shelf or something.